the seven year itch and our plan of attack. It's episode 29 of In Real Life. Tuesday's video where we celebrated our seventh wedding anniversary I was kind of thinking gosh people are gonna watch this video and think that Michael and I have the perfect marriage or that we're always happy and lovey-dovey and that is not true that hasn't always been the case it isn't always the case and I want to just share about this because I think it's something that couples don't talk about a lot and I think it's important so um, overall Mike and I are super compatible we spend most of our days together. We work together, we raise kids together, we do pretty much everything together. Uh, so we definitely have this wonderful connection and compatibility. It's truly a blessing and I thank God for it. Um, but I have to tell you, when I first met Michael, uh, I was single, obviously he was too, and we were dating and I was meeting all these different guys. And when I met him, we went on our first date and I remember coming home and weeping. Okay, I have never had the head that experience before. I mean, why would I be crying? I don't even know this guy and I'm crying like hysterically. Uh, I, the best way for me to describe it is I felt like someone came in and like kind of rattled my soul. It was just this encounter and it wasn't like we even got that deep in terms of conversation or anything. It was very much on a spiritual level or like an intuitive awareness that this guy was going to be important or somehow just meeting him was a really big thing in my life. And, you know, long story short, we started dating, we got engaged and all that sort of thing. So obviously that intuition did come to pass. Um, but we kind of went through... Uh, a dark night of the soul, so to speak, in our relationship, in our dating and engagement time, okay, which is kind of unique. I think most people maybe that happens after the first year of marriage or maybe when the honeymoon wears off or whatever. Uh, but for us, you know, we were a little bit older when we met. We were kind of set in our ways. We had our careers and our friends and our lifestyle. And so we really had to kind of break down some of that, um, those comforts we had and some of those almost barriers or armor that we would put up. And it was hard. I mean, it, there was times where I'm like, this is painful. Like, I don't know if I can go through with this. And uh, we went and saw a counselor, the whole thing. But the awesome thing about it is by going through that, our relationship was so much deeper and stronger and more wonderful. And we really kind of have rode the uh, fruits of that labor for many, many years in our marriage. We've had a great marriage. It's been very, almost kind of easy in some ways. But lately, you know, as we were approaching the seven year uh, milestone, I was kind of nervous about it. You know, you hear about the seven year itch and how this is a time where maybe lots of couples split up or they just run into problems. Uh, so as we were approaching this anniversary, we found ourselves kind of arguing a lot, um, which isn't our normal. So we were kind of picking on each other and, uh, just kind of, you know, just not extending grace to one another. And the way that manifests for me is I find that I tend to blame him for little things. Like if Paloma gets up, uh, you know, I'll say, oh, you were too loud. You know, she heard you. Or if she seems fussy, I'm like, you didn't feed her enough at lunch. You know, did you give her some yogurt or this or that? And just kind of get like blamey and just not nice. And then for him, he, he tends to go into his cave more, or just kind of get aggravated or wants it quiet. And so anyways, we were just, that kind of stuff was happening more. And um, finally, we had a moment to kind of sit down and really talk. We really went through all the things that were going on, what was really underneath it all. And uh, it was just a blessing. And I think that's the thing that's so hard for many of us when we have young children. And that's why, I mean, psychologists show that when you have young children, it's a very stressful time on the marriage because you are kind of in survival mode. You are po focusing so much of your attention on these children who literally will not survive without you that it's very difficult to find that time to connect as a couple. So we finally did that. We worked through some stuff. We had great communication and it was this great shift that happened. Uh, and a, a great little adjustment, so to speak. So it was just a great reminder that anything that's worth anything in this world takes work and effort, and we have to invest in what we love. As part of this investment, Michael and I just joined this group at church called Love After Marriage. This is a national program, and it's a way for couples to kind of get together, fellowship, 
and support each other in deepening and enriching that bond of marriage. So I'm really looking forward to it. We both are. It feels like a wonderful investment, you know, because when we first got married, we were kind of idealistic and said, you know, every two years we should go on a retreat or do some kind of program or something to really strengthen. So we're like in tip top shape in terms of our marriage. And then I got pregnant and then we had kids and then we did nothing, you know, like nada. So this is going to be excellent and it's definitely long overdue. Now, if any of you out there are struggling in your marriage, just know that one, you're not alone and two, that you can get through it. And many couples get through it and then they're stronger and better. So I'm going to put a ton of resources in the video description below that could help or encourage you along your journey. Have you done any retreats or workshops or read books as a couple or done something that enriched your marriage? Share with us in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. This helps us spread the word and reach more natural mamas. Just so you know, we do two videos a week. On Tuesdays, it's usually some kind of natural living tip or trick. And on Thursdays, it's always the IRL show. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos. And we'll catch you next time.